ChatGPT set the record for the fastest platform to reach 100 million users. This in itself is a huge stride. But now with new updates that's coming, I have a feeling that ChatGPT is about to set a lot more records. ChatGPT so far is an absolutely spectacular piece of technology. And what's even more impressive now is ChatGPT 4. Compared to its predecessors, its reasoning and conciseness are unmatched. It's clear that OpenAI's main goal is to move forward and to improve AI constantly. So who knows what more ChatGPT 5 will have in stock for us. There are even some predictions that state that it might be able to have text to video, which could change the whole game. This feature in particular could make ChatGPT a lot like Midjourney AI, except all of its features will be in one place. You can get clear and concise answers from GPT, and then also use it to generate videos and images. Or you can use it to give an opinion or criticize video or image content. An example of a situation like this could be if you have something wrong with your computer or any device of yours. You can take a video of your computer and detail what parts of it aren't working and ask ChatGPT for a personalized solution. But again, this is all just what people think will be implemented into ChatGPT 5. The only real way to find out is to wait and see. GPT-4 recently shocked the entire world by passing a plethora of exams. Matter of fact, it didn't just pass the exams, it absolutely excelled far beyond what 90% of humans could do. With this in mind, it's safe to say that GPT-5 will most likely be designed with the capability of acing those exams, which means that its intelligence level will be far more advanced than the GPTs before it. GPT-5 will also be tested for AGI capabilities in December. AGI basically stands for Artificial General Intelligence. There are five main components to general intelligence. These five components are creativity, sensory perception, fine motor skills, natural language understanding, NLU, and navigation. As you can see from the version of ChatGPT that we have access to, its creativity is absolutely fantastic. The most interesting component is fine motor skills. GPT-5 might not just be a platform humans can use. OpenAI may actually take a step forward and work on developing robots that excel in AGI. Matter of fact, OpenAI recently invested in a company that was branded as 1X. This company was already working on robots independently, and these robots were called Haloti Robotics. OpenAI investing in this company is very interesting, because the Haloti robots were profoundly good at performing everyday human tasks. These include cooking, cleaning, and stuff like that. As you can see, this robot is cooking, and that's not even the most entertaining part of the video. This robot is moving around the kitchen and placing things in and out of the fridge as if it were a human. A lot of different people, including myself, think that OpenAI's long-term plan is to implement the GPT artificial intelligence and merge it with physical robots. The scary thing about this is that robots will be very similar to humans. I mean, think about it. They'll be able to hear, see, and even touch. And who knows, maybe taste will come into the equation sooner or later. This is only one of the ways that ChatGPT may change the world, but another way that GPT GPT-5 could impact the world greatly is involved with a medical field. To give you a quick understanding, dozens of different softwares and platforms have used ChatGPT as a plugin, and doctors have already started doing the same thing. There are AI-powered notebooks online for doctors, and GPT-5 will be so advanced that it'll be able to pull a bunch of knowledge from different medical fields and put them together. With AI, doctors around the world will be able to use the technology to give out better diagnoses, which will decrease the amount of inaccurate diagnoses to occur. Recently, there's been news coming out that ChatGPT saved a dog's life. Vets weren't able to figure out what was wrong with this dog, and the owner decided to ask ChatGPT. They had to give quite a bit of detail, but in the end, ChatGPT gave every single possible problem that could be occurring in the dog's body, and they found out what was wrong and found out how to fix it. Now, obviously, ChatGPT isn't designed to fulfill someone's medical needs, but imagine if it were designed to do so, or at least if a part of it was designed to do so. Who knows what kind of improvements AI could make for the medical world, and not just the medical world, but a bunch of other industries. Schools could become so much more educational with the use of AI, giving each student a personalized way to learn, to ensure that each kid learns what they need to efficiently. With OpenAI working to merge AI with the real world, and trying to get Chat GPT-5 to be as intelligent as possible and to be as good as possible when it comes to AGI capabilities, every single industry can benefit from this technology. In my opinion, this is as revolutionary as the iPhone.
With the iPhone came thousands of other opportunities, and I think that it's the exact same with AI. So when will ChatGPT 5 come out? Well, the truth is, we won't know until it comes out, and the reason why is because OpenAI is working on ChatGPT 5 every day, tweaking it and planning for it to do more great things. This is a very advanced piece of technology, and they may very well make new discoveries at random. Better yet, they might even put GPT-5 to use and not tell us. After all, Bing had GPT-4 implemented into it for quite some time now, and we only recently found out about it. All in all, there's no telling what GPT-5 will have in stock for us, other than the fact that we know GPT-4 is great, and we know how much better it is from GPT-3.5. It's very obvious that with the features that GPT-5 is predicted to have, it will absolutely change the world as a whole. Day-to-day -day activities won't be a hassle to humans anymore, and eventually, robots may be implemented into the workplace. The only real disadvantage that AI has is that it'll leave a lot of people without jobs. And by a lot, I mean an estimate of 300 million people around the world. But obviously, I'm sure that OpenAI and the government will try to find a compromise, because 300 million people left without jobs would be catastrophic for the economy. That's all for today's video, ladies and gentlemen, and I look forward to catching you on the next one. If you like this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I make videos like this all the time, and I do my best to update you about the latest AI news, such as advancements in the AI space, to how to make money and improve your life with it. If you'd like to find a way to make really good money with AI before it's too late, click the first link in the description. I have something in there that I think you'd really like. I hope to see you in the next video.